This is the Weather Extreme video for Sunday, February the 7th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters, and it certainly is an interesting weather pattern shaping up for us ahead as we continue to see a steady stream uh, across the southern part of the United States of storm systems. Now let's get right to some sky cams this morning. How about Demopolis? I think we're going to have a, uh, a, a water theme this morning. There's the Tom Bigby River, and of course, with all the rain we've had, rivers are flowing quite full. There's the Tennessee River, and uh, you can see looking over the uh, bridges there, you can see that it's also quite full. And of course, the Gulf of Mexico is always full. I'm <laughs> just kidding. And uh, there we go as uh, we look at Gulf Shores, and uh, certainly you can see from the flag down there at the lower center part of the picture that there's a steady wind from the north, even down at Gulf Shores. Well, one storm system is exiting, and that's the one out in the Atlantic that just barely showing up on the map. And that certainly has created havoc for the mid-Atlantic states with uh, on the order of anywhere from 20 to 30 inches of snow. But here comes our next system, and uh, we can certainly see that. Uh, developing in the uh, southern Rockies. On the upper air chart, overlaid on the water vapor imagery, we've got our uh, our closed low over Maine that is exiting. And uh, we're sort of under a ridge, but also notice it's a bit of a northwesterly flow. So it's going to be another chilly day as we stay below our typical temperatures for this time of year. But out there in Baja, California, Southern California, here comes the next system. Temperatures across the country are pretty chilly across uh, the, uh, oh, I guess you'd say, um, well, much of the eastern half of the country, it's pretty chilly. I mean, even down at Key West, it's 54. My goodness, that's pretty chilly for them down there. Looking uh, at temperatures across central Alabama, we're dancing pretty, uh, pretty much around 32 or so. Uh, a few spots a little bit uh, warmer. Of course, I'm a little bit later this morning. And uh, we've gotten rid of all the advisories and watches and warnings for that one storm system that uh, dumped all that snow on the mid-Atlantic states, but we're getting all kinds of new advisories uh, coming for the next storm system, a combination of blizzard, uh, winter storm watches, warnings, and advisories uh, that that new system, of course, is going to be giving us primarily rain. And on the order of, it looks like, something on the order of about a half to one inch. And so, as I noted on the uh, Skycam images, we're going to have to be uh, concerned about flooding uh, because we're already running pretty full after a really nice rain here uh, just uh, the last uh, 36 to 48 hours. All right, this is the 06E GFS model run, and today it's going to be chilly. You can see the 540 line running down across the Tennessee River Valley by... Uh, Monday morning or Monday at noon, uh, we've got a little short wave coming in off of uh, Southern California, and we've got a nice closed low dropping into the United States from uh, the South Central Canada. Those two are going to phase up, and that's going to produce the next storm system. And here we go. You can see uh, all those cold temperatures uh, represented by the thickness values, those blue dashed blue lines as a uh, surface low develops in the uh, Texas, North Texas, and that is going to be bringing uh, uh, a lot of uh, snow to the central part of the country. Uh, the two more or less phase here, the energy from the southern stream and the, uh, the closed low from uh, south central Canada, those two phase, and you can see uh, located, oh, in the vicinity of Chicago, let's just say. And of course, we've got another piece of energy off the west coast, so that's going to be bringing us the next storm system. In the meantime, uh, the low moves up through the Ohio River Valley. That brings another round of uh, rain to us. Uh, primarily, I think, uh, during the first half of Tuesday, uh, with rain ending by afternoon. And uh, it does look like we may see a little bit of... Uh, of uh, snow flurries perhaps as the precipitation is ending, but it doesn't look like there's anything of any significance. We dry out briefly, and you can see, of course, we're pretty chilly on Wednesday. We dry out briefly on Wednesday, but uh, that next short wave is coming in through uh, northern Mexico on Thursday, and that will be producing, yes, another surface low pressure system, uh, primarily uh, in South Texas, uh, northwest Gulf of Mexico. That uh, system dampens out just a little bit, but notice the northwesterly flow that is supporting it, and so it's going to stay chilly here, and the result is that we're going to be on the verge of some rain or snow on Friday, 
as the surface low marches across the uh, uh, northern Gulf of Mexico. Now, the GFS is painting a little further south, but still, um, you know, this is one of those situations where there is enough uncertainty that we need to be saying rain or snow. So we're not uh, completely positive just yet, but of course, uh, looking at 850 temperatures, uh, they were a little bit uh, chillier. Now, that uh, puts us uh, under a pretty chilly regime across the eastern half of the country by Saturday. And, of course, that means we're going to have uh, kind of a cool day as our surface low exits out into the Atlantic. And uh, that should pave the way for both a dry Saturday and a uh, dry Sunday. Notice, however, by Sunday we're back uh, with the 540 line back uh, across, uh, oh, uh, let's see, at least... Uh, at least the, the uh, northern half of uh, Alabama, and we should stay dry into next week with the Ides of February. All right, the zero, uh, the uh, voodoo country, uh, it looks like the chilly weather stays with us. This is the 19th as we look at the upper air pattern. It looks like the chilly weather stays with us with another ridge off to our west, maintaining that northwesterly flow with a steady stream of disturbances coming through that flow. And then finally, on the 22nd of February, once again, we're still... Uh, under that chilly flow, and uh, the result is that uh, it looks like it's going to be cold and wet, which means we get a continuous stream of systems to have to deal with. Well, thanks for tuning into the Weather Extreme video. James Spann will be back uh, with the next edition tomorrow morning, bright and early by 7 o'clock. Yes, I'm running a little bit late, and all I have to say is I don't know who you're rooting for today in the Super Bowl, but go Saints! Hope that you have a great Sunday and Godspeed. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faces that I see, all of the places close to me, they're all part of all the best things about home. Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.